Evan started out isolated, with little human contact. To find his new family, he'll have to come out of his shell. <laughs> After Oregon Humane Society staff work with him, he's got a collar on and is comfortable on his leash. Steps that show he's learning how to live with humans. This is our behavior modification pod where we kennel all of the dogs in our program. Program manager Annika Howland is in a kennel focused on helping dogs become pets, like Jake, whose owner surrendered him to protect his grandkids. Jake, right now, is only a one-person dog. Um, he's as far away from us as he can be because he doesn't trust us to get closer. He is growling and barking. You can see that his ears are pulled back. He's tight in the face. The behavior modification process will work over the next two months to help Jake accept others. So she's barking at you right now just because she's very unsure of what this is. The goal for all of the work here is to prepare animals for new human homes. For example, this hall between kennels is the only place the dogs can socialize. Tara, he's not going to come out if you stand there. No, you'll have to walk away and then he eventually gets comfortable to come out. That's Joey's brother, Bart. He's the scared one. Along with other distractions here, it slows the development of new positive behaviors. This is kind of the only space that we can do it. These three can't be taken out on a leash yet, so this is where they learn to be less fearful. Right in the middle of all the other dogs here. I mean, to see the forms where the concrete is going to go, amazing. Soon, there will be more space for their important work with the new Road Ahead project. Just on the other side of that pile of bed. <laughs> A new behavior rehabilitation and rescue center will be built here. In our new space, we're going to have purpose-built areas that are just for the dogs that have the special needs. The new center will have the space needed for simulated living rooms, where animals can become familiar with what they'll find in homes. More room for cat behavior modification is also in the plan. And the actual place for the cats is probably 10 times the size of this. You got it, let's go. There you go. Evan has now graduated from the BMOD program. He's ready to be adopted thanks to the experts who helped him get rid of bad behaviors. I'm Stephen Redlin, KGW News.